Imagine driving on a bridge that doesn't touch the ground, one that floats on water. That's the Evergreen Point floating bridge in Washington state. Spanning nearly 8,000 feet, 2,440 meters, longer than 20 football fields and costing $4.65 billion, this engineering marvel is the longest floating bridge in the world. It carries thousands of vehicles every day while standing strong against wind, waves and even earthquakes. But how does a massive structure like this stay afloat? Let's find out. Before we explore how the bridge works, let's first look at what it's up against, Lake Washington. Lake Washington is a massive freshwater lake stretching 18 miles 29 kilometers, from Renton to Kenmore, with a width of about 3 miles 4.8 kilometers, at its widest point. The lake reaches depths of over 200 feet 61 meters, in some areas. And here's the kicker. Below the lake bottom lies an additional 100 to 200 feet 30 to 61 meters of soft clay and mud. This means traditional bridge pilings weren't an option, a challenge that shaped the bridge's unique design. Yet a bridge was essential. The Eastside region was booming. Shipyards in Houghton, now Kirkland, and an influx of workers during World War II created a growing demand for better transportation. The region couldn't sustain its growth without a connection across the lake. The first floating bridge was completed in 1963 and stretched 7,500 feet 2,286 meters. Over time, the original bridge began to show its age. Pontoons, think of them as giant floating blocks or rafts that hold the bridge up, like oversized airfield containers under the bridge, were sinking. These hollow, watertight structures keep the bridge afloat by displacing water, much like how a boat floats. But as they gradually floated about one foot lower than designed, waves began breaking onto the deck, especially during storms. Cracks appeared, and the bridge became notorious for traffic bottlenecks. After 50 years, its sinking pontoons forced frequent closures during high winds. Storms damaged critical components like the draw span and anchor cables, and its hollow supports weren't built for earthquakes. A replacement wasn't just a good idea, it was a necessity. This need wasn't new. As early as five years after the bridge opened, studies explored alternatives like new bridges or even tunnels. In the 1980s, proposals included adding rail transit lanes or dedicated bus lanes. Later, a TransLake study brought together 47 stakeholders to brainstorm solutions. But by 1997, the Washington State Department of Transportation, WSDOT, made it official. The original bridge could only last until 2017. A full replacement was the only option. Construction on the new bridge began in 2011 and lasted five years. At a cost of $4.65 billion, the new Evergreen Point floating bridge opened in 2016, built alongside the original one to ensure traffic could continue flowing. Once the new bridge was complete, the original was decommissioned and dismantled. The new bridge is an engineering feat, spanning 7,710 feet 2,652 meters across Lake Washington. At its highest point, the bridge rises approximately 20 feet 6.1 meters above the water. It measures 113 feet 34.6 meters wide, with a deck thickness of 2.5 feet 0.76 meters, and is significantly larger and more robust than its predecessor. It features 77 massive concrete pontoons, more than double the original 33, anchored to the lake bed by 58 giant cables. Beneath the deck, a three-story maintenance building allows crews to monitor systems and access the pontoons without disrupting traffic. The bridge features six traffic lanes, including dedicated HOV lanes and a 14-foot wide path for cyclists and pedestrians and it's pre-designed to accommodate two additional mass transit lanes in the future, ensuring adaptability as the region grows. It was a vast improvement over its predecessor in every aspect. It's twice as wide, it has 77 pontoons instead of 33, 
and the deck now sits 20 feet, 6.1 meters above the water, compared to just 6 feet, 1.8 meters on the original bridge. Performance-wise, it's built to withstand sustained winds of up to 89 miles per hour, 143 kilometers per hour, far surpassing the original bridge's capabilities of 59 miles per hour limit. Safety upgrades include a stormwater collection system, advanced earthquake resistance, and a 70-foot high, 21.3 meter east navigation channel, replacing the old draw span. The new bridge serves approximately 74,000 vehicles daily and is designed to last for 75 years, making it a durable and future-ready solution for the region. But here's the real question. How does this massive bridge stay afloat? It might seem like magic, but it's actually science. Two key factors keep this bridge afloat, buoyancy and the air inside the pontoons. Think of a basketball in a pool. It floats because of two things. The air inside makes it lighter than water and it pushes water out of the way or displaces it. Pontoons work in a similar way, but on a much larger scale. These massive hollow structures are carefully sealed and filled with air or sometimes expanded polystyrene to ensure they stay light enough to float. Each pontoon works like a giant floating platform, displacing enough water to hold the bridge and everything on it, including thousands of cars. For example, if a pontoon needs to support 11,000 tonnes, it has to push aside 11,000 tonnes of water. Simple, right? But making something float isn't the whole challenge. The bridge also has to stay in place and handle the forces of nature. Think about holding a balloon underwater. If you don't keep it anchored, it'll pop right up or drift away. That's where the anchoring system comes in. The pontoons are tethered to the lake bed with massive cables and rods, like a kite tied to a string. These anchors are strong enough to keep the bridge steady, but flexible enough to let it move with waves, winds, and even rising and falling water levels. And let's not forget construction. Imagine putting together Lego, but on a colossal scale. Each pontoon is carefully snapped together to form a stable structure. The engineers have to make sure every piece is perfectly aligned so the bridge stays balanced. Just like adding heavier Lego pieces at the base to prevent a tower from tipping, the weight on the bridge is spread out evenly to keep everything stable. The Evergreen Point floating bridge is more than just a road. It's a testament to innovation and engineering. From its record-breaking length to the science behind its design, this bridge shows what's possible when necessity meets creativity. It's built to last, standing ready to serve the region for decades. So what do you think about this engineering marvel? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and join us next time for more mega build stories.